Hey everybody, uh, I just want to take a minute and address a subject that has come up on the discussion forums a couple of times and in some of your correspondence to me uh, concerning uh, activity 1.5 in lighting one uh, in the basic electricity section of your curriculum. Um, in your handbook, in your set electrician's handbook, one of the textbooks that we use for class, uh, this uh, textbook offers the Ohm's Law formula for you folks to calculate uh, your voltage or your wattage or your ampacities of your workloads on set. Uh, and it tells you a way to calculate paper amps as estimated workloads uh, for ordering equipment and planning set design. Um, but I wanted to take a minute and just give you a simpler method of calculating all of those variables um, that might be a little less daunting than going through the actual Ohm's Law formula that the textbook is offering as your solution. Um, you, may re you may recognize Ohm's Law right here on the front of this Ugly's Electrical References. Um, this is a handy little guide that you can pick up at Home Depot for about $10. Um, but in the Ugly's Electrical Reference, it has a pretty thorough but layman's explanation of Ohm's Law and it gives you a really quick and convenient power formula that I think is a lot easier to use than going through the Ohm's Law derivatives. Um, it's pretty simple. Sometimes you can do this in your head uh, if you're not too, uh, not too bad with mathematics and, and quick equations. Uh, but it's a lot simpler than, than taking the whole Ohm's Law formula and working your way backwards through all those variables. Basically, we call it the power formula. It comes out of Ohm's Law. But instead of using some of those um, variables and some of those um, nomenclature that don't seem to relate to what we're doing, uh, what, we, what we've done is we've, we've given this formula a nickname and we call it the West Virginia formula. And we do that because it looks like this. It looks like West Virginia and that's how it's easy to remember what this is. This is actually Watts are equal to volts times or multiplied by your amps. Now, if any of you have had uh, high school math, uh, basic college algebra, you'll recognize this is a very basic algebraic equation. Anything on this side of the equal sign is equal to anything on this side of the equal sign, and these items are proportionate. So if one of these variables changes, the other will change relative to each one on this side of the equal sign. It's very easy to get in and out of this formula. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Don't panic. It's really simple. If I just show you what you have to do, West Virginia, okay, now let's say we want to know how many amps a 1000 watt fixture is pulling out of the wall outlet that you're using on set. So our wattage is equal to 1000, okay? The voltage is what we call line voltage. That's whatever is coming out of the household circuit uh, on the wall in your living room, let's say, or if you bring a small generator to the set, you'll notice that the, the plugs that look just like the ones in your household plugs, we call those Edison sockets, uh, those are delivering line voltage. And line voltage in the United States can be anything from 115 volts to 125 volts. But for the sake of the calculations, we use 120 volts because that is the spot on uh, recommended line voltage for the US for our single and three phase systems. So 120 volts, is V, and then our variable is A. And this is a multiplication relationship right here until we work the formula, and it's very simple. In a basic algebraic equation, all we have to do is on each side of the equal sign, divide by the figure that we want to get rid of to isolate the variable that we want to know the value of. So 120 cancels itself out on that side of the equal sign. Very simple, right? Over here, we got 1,000 divided by 120. So if we do that basic calculation, okay, we can do it long form like they taught us to do in school, or we can pull out our calculator. And when we make this, when we do this formula, when we do this uh, uh, division right here, we come up with 8.3.
and that is equal to A, okay? The, vari the variable that we were looking for. So A equals 8.3 amps, okay? And it's as simple as that. Now, if you know the relationship for a 1,000 watt light, you can calculate anything on the set very quickly. They're all derivatives of 8.3. So a 2,000 watt light is 16.6 .6 amps, okay? A 5K would be 5 times 8.3 or 41.5 amps, okay? Those are your actual amps based on line voltage, okay? So let me do that again where you can see. 8.3, a 2K is 16.6, .6, right? And a 5K, 5 times 8.3, 41.5, okay, amps. So that's the answer. Now these are your actual ampacities, okay. Um, if you want to estimate what these values are worth, okay, you just got to remember a couple of things, okay. 2K, K is the, uh, is the symbol for thousands. 2,000, okay, 2,000 times what, okay. If 1,000 divided by 120 is 8.3 amps, and that's your actual amps for a 1K, or a 1,000 watt fixture, call this 10 amps instead. It's a lot easier to calculate on the fly in your head 10 into some number than it is 8.3, right? So now we'll say that in terms of paper amps, okay, paper amps, let me erase some of this and give you a clean board here. If paper amps say that a 1,000, or if actual amps say that a 1,000 equals 8.3 amps, okay, if this is the actual, then we go to the paper amps. We say 1,000 watts equals 10 paper amps. So now 2,000 watts is 2 times 10, 20 paper amps. Okay, now we know because we did the actual calculation already that 2,000 is really 16.6. .6. But if we want to use round numbers and we want to calculate really quickly, we can say 2,000 watts equals 10 times 2 or 20 paper amps. A 5K, just as easy. 5,000 equals 5 times 10. 50 paper amps. That's it. Forget about dividing by 100 and doing all of these long column additions and then dividing by 100 and everything. That's great if you got a calculator or a desk in time to deal with this. But when you're on the set and you're just taking a quick cursory look around the floor to see how much floor power you have and you look at the number of fixtures that have just come in off the truck and you want to know basically what you've got before you start popping breakers, your breakers in the, in the workroom or the utility room are either 10 amp, 15 amp, or 20 amp breakers. So 8.3 is hard to calculate in all of that. 10 works great. Your household, uh, household breakers are usually 10 in a bedroom, uh, maybe 15, but 10, and then 20 in a kitchen. So you've got those round numbers to deal with. It's very simple. Just remember, West Virginia, anytime you want to figure this stuff out, and then the basic computations to get yourself whatever variable you're looking for. Watts equals volts times amps. All right, good luck.